Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. I bought a new printer. I've been waiting all day for the UPS man to come. I've been singing, uh, what is this song? Miss, Mr. Postman. I've been singing that all day because I'm so excited waiting for him to come with my new printer so I can get to work on my um, journals. Oh, Dakota, my battery power is running low. Will you find a cord and extension cord and plug it in? Thanks. Um, so anyway, I bought an Epson. I have been so sick and tired of um, with my HF printer. Um, always running out of ink, and I don't know. Do I want to do the HP Instant Ink program? You know, I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's the control freak in me that um, doesn't want to rely on somebody else to send me my ink. I don't know what it is, but I just didn't really want to do it. So I did a ton of reviews, um, looking around, reading, um, looking in the Facebook groups, junk journal groups and seeing what everybody else uses and a lot of people recommended the Epson. So I purchased the Epson Expression ET2650. It's a wireless printer that can copy and scan and this uses the um, ink bottles that you put in the reservoirs um, instead of ink cartridges. So reading the box here it says that it comes with two years of ink in the box and that it should be enough ink to print 4,000 pages black or 6,500 pages in color. I highly doubt that, nothing ever is what it seems, but um, I'll let you know how it does. So I'm just gonna unbox it, we'll see what's included in it and what this thing looks like. Um, and then I will get it set up on my computer and we will see how well it prints. So, everything's good? Yep. Okay. Alright, let's take this thing missing out. Cord. And you what? I found your missing phone cord. Where was it? Behind your nightstand. Oh, I've been looking for my phone cord for like three days. So, I'm the corner of that and I'll pull the box away. Alright. So, let's see what all is included here. We have power cord, uh, magenta ink, Yellow ink, black ink, and um, what they call the blue? Cyan. Cyan, yeah. Cyan. Um, and the box was a little dinged up from the Amazon truck, but they really had good um, packing, so lots of good styrofoam on the corners, so no damage to that. Um, let's pull it out of the bag oh, and turn it around. It's not too heavy. It's not too big. Not like my big laser printer. So, got the scanner um, thingy. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to get it loaded up with ink. I bet that's where you do it over here. There's this thing here called an instruction manual. and um, But we don't read those. Yeah, I don't read those. <laughs> kidding oh cool all right can you see that is that in frame mm -hmm. yeah that is okay that's like the tank the tanks that you put the ink in so I'm gonna I will I'm gonna read the instruction manual and I'll probably get it synced up with my um, printer and then we'll we'll put the ink in it and then we'll give it a go all right okay so we're all unpacked and now we're ready to put in the ink and I don't know if I said this already that said this was enough ink to be the equivalent of 20 printer cartridges. So let's see how it goes. All right, what do I need to do first? So they say open the ink can cover and remove the cap for the black ink. That's the first one I have you changing. Okay. They're talking about the, this cap. And uh, I'll just make note here, it says Oh, I don't know if I can get in focus. It says do not drink, just in case you thought oh, about here, drinking it. Oh, here it says it here on the instructions. <laughs> right, right there. Do not drink. Do not drink. Deep. Yeah, no kidding. And look, it, the caps have, uh, they're attached to the printer so you don't lose them. And oh. the same right there. Okay, because I would lose them. All right, yes. now what am I doing? Uh, pack the black ink bottle. Yep. Depending on the ink bottle included, snap off the bottle tip or unscrew the lid. So I think they have two versions. 
I think you have the. Oh, okay. I have the lidded. Okay. So unscrew the lid. Got it. Okay. And remove I think this little. Remove the bottle cap. The seal. Carefully remove the. Yeah. Move the protective seal. Avoid touching it because it's not. Whoops. See, that's why you're supposed to put plastic down. Yeah. <laughs> then close bottle cap tightly. Okay. Fill the tank using all the ink in the bottle. All of the ink in the bottle. That's what it says. Okay. I guess it set, it shows it to tell it hits this line down here. Okay. Am I supposed to be squeezing it or? I don't say. Well, this could take a while. Maybe you could just film just a little bit. And then... Yeah, I'm squeezing. Okay, this will take a bit. We'll come back. So I filled the black up and I have just a little bit of ink left in the bottom. I've already looked at what these cost to refill them and it was like $12 a bottle. So I think in the long run, oops, oops sorry. this is going to be way more cost effective. So we've got the black filled and now we're going to go ahead and do the other colors. Okay. Okay. So plugged in, right? No, I haven't plugged it in yet. Okay. Plug it in. They say connect it to the back of the product and then connect to an electrical outlet. Ooh, okay. Nice. Plugged in. Raise the control panel and turn on the product. Okay. And turn on. And it's supposed to be doing what? Charging the ink. Ink charging. Ink charging. Okay. We should If you select English as your language, press the OK button. Okay. okay. That says press and hold the OK button for three seconds when the message to see the setup manual is displayed on the LCD screen. Okay, we'll turn this around here. It says preparing, preparing. Pull this in a little closer. When's it supposed to say that? I don't know. <laughs> Just, just said press and hold the OK button for three seconds when the message to see the setup menu. Okay. All right. Well, it's going to do its thing, and then we'll come back. So we got the printer all set up. That took a while. <laughs> Getting it to connect to the computer, it was a major pain in the rear. Um, I don't know if I've got some settings that are off on this printer or what. I'm going to have to do some experimenting. Um, but I did print out one of uh, the envelopes out of Artie Mays' A Day at the Beach kit. And, yeah, it's this one. Um, so it's it actually looks better. I'm looking at it through the camera. It actually looks better through the camera than it does in real life. Um, and then this is printed from my laser printer. Um, so you can see like maybe the difference between the seashells down there. The details a little better in the laser. Um, over here you can see the details of the sand a little better on the right. The details up there are better. The one on the right. So the one that came out of the inkjet is a little better detail. But um, I don't know. It's too early to tell and I'll get back to you on what my final decision is about these printers. But I thought we'd give it a try. Speak to you all really soon. Bye-bye.